Talking to God and having a personal conversation with Him is key to our relationship with Him. So today I'm going to make a keychain. And if you'll have your grown-up email me or text me your favorite colors, I'll send you things that you can make a keychain with so that you can remember each time you use it that you're to have conversation with God. Our story today comes from Luke chapter um, 11 and chapter 18. And it's Jesus had finished praying. And when one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. So Jesus told them, when you pray, say, Father, your name be honored as holy. That tells us that God, the one we're talking to, is the one true God. He is a holy God. He said, we're to pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're to want things here to go the way God wants them to go, not the way that we always want them to go. He says, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves also forgive everyone who sins against us. And do not bring us into temptation. Then Jesus told them this story. Imagine one of you goes to a friend at midnight and says, Friend, let me borrow three loaves of bread because a friend of mine has traveled to visit me and I don't have anything to offer him. The friend shouts from inside his house, Go away! My family's in bed. I don't want to get up and help you. And even though the man does not want to help his friend, he will get up and give his friend what he needs because he has asked boldly. Jesus told this story to teach the disciples about prayer. He said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Jesus asked, does any father, when his son asks for a fish, give him a snake instead? Or if a son asks for an egg, does the father give him a scorpion? Jesus said that fathers who are sinners know how to give good gifts to their children. God is even greater father. He is not a sinner. And he gives the Holy Spirit to those who ask. Jesus also told another story, a parable, to teach the disciples to pray without giving up. In a town, there was a judge who did not care about God or people. And over and over, a widow went to the judge and asked him to protect her from wrongdoing. The judge did not want to help, but after a while he said, I will give this widow what she wants if she does not keep bothering me. So Jesus pointed out that the unjust judge did what was right because the widow did not give up. And when people cry out to God day and night, he will ignore them. And Jesus asked, no, he will quickly make things right. He will not ignore them. Jesus wanted his followers to have faith and to not give up. Jesus taught us to pray. He taught us to ask God for what we needed. He taught us to praise God for who he is. And he taught us about what a loving and kind father he is. So remember that praying to God is key to our relationship with him.